Hey, it's Arlen here with Prestige Traders. The trader that we're going to be featuring today will be the 53 foot tandem flatbed trader that we offer in the Renown series. It is 53 feet, it does have a sliding suspension, and we'll talk about some of the features as we move back along the trailer. Starting at the front, we've got a six inch channel side rail that supports this trailer throughout the length of the trailer. Uh, you'll notice the stake pockets are welded on this particular unit at 48 inch spacing. You do have the option of a 24 inch spaced stake pocket. You can choose different options available. In this particular trailer, we also have 12 inch uh, cross member spacing. If you take a look underneath, you'll be able to see the cross members running across the frame of the trailer. As we move back along the trailer, I'd like to point out a few things. We talked about the stake pockets. We have chain pullouts on this trailer as well. They are also rated for 5,000 pounds. As we move back, you'll see the winches on this particular unit. It's equipped with a sliding winch track that runs through the length of the trailer, as well as barrel winches located through the trailer as well. This trailer is equipped 53 feet, 24 inch kingpin spacing, and in the axle configuration closed, it is a Cal legal axle spacing, so it's 40 feet kingpin to center of rear axle, so it allows you to get into those jurisdictions with this particular trailer. We've got a Holland Mark V landing gear. You'll notice the robust bracing between the legs as well. The crank pins away safely when you're not using it. I'd like to point out the different toolbox options we have. 48 inch box that you see here today. There is a 60 inch box available and we have different uh, depths of boxes as well. 24 or 30 inch depth boxes, depending on what your needs are. They're a cam lock box. So it's a double door with, with a stainless steel assembly to not give you any trouble with rust on the fastening hardware as well. The bracing, the box is supported right to the bottom of the box. So it allows you to to load up the box without having to worry about it swaying around and, and coming loose on you as well. Moving back along the trailer, you'll notice the knee braces are spaced at 48 inches on the flatbed trailer to support the outside rail of the trailer. The toolbox mount also acts as a knee brace, so it does give you the support. It's not only a knee brace, it also supports the box as well. So it does two jobs in one. This particular unit has an aluminum floor with four nailer strips. You do have the option of a fur floor or a hardwood floor. So there are three flooring options available in these traders as well. You'll notice the Renown series. That's our model line of this series of trader. The combo trader are called the Renown series. We do have a Brilliant series, which is our all aluminum line as well as a force line, which is our steel line of trailer. This is a full combo trailer. And when I say full combo, all the cross members, the side rail are all aluminum. The only steel component in this trailer are the two main rails of the trailer supporting the main structure of the trailer. Between every knee brace, there is another aluminum brace that's, that holds the webs between the knee braces as well. So it's something you can spot when you crawl up underneath the trailer. We have a mid-turn light, which also signals to indicate the center of the trailer. When you're turning, it allows those people to see your indication of, of making the left turn or right turn as well. This unit has the model 33 lights. We do have different lighting options and lighting quantities available. This one has a seven light package. So in addition, we have the center turn light as well as, as the penny lights along this entire rail of the trailer. I'd like to point out, we have the air box here. The air box indicates the, the load on the air gauge as well. We do have a dump valve for the suspension to drop your trailer when you're not using the trailer or want to disconnect. We also have another valve here which operates the lock on your on your slide as well. It is a manual slide. We'll show you where the pin removes, but you do switch this over to slide your suspension into a different position as well. You do have the option of a, a sight glass. Uh, there are additional options of like lighting inside the box if you so choose or just to have a solid box door as well. In behind the first axle, we have a fixed mud flap because this axle stays here regardless of where the rear axle is moved, as well as another flap that's attached to the sliding axle. So it'll, the, that mud flap will slide to wherever you, you move your axle to. We use Hendrickson Intrax 23K AANT 23K suspension. You have different wheel end options available. This particular unit has an oil-filled wheel end put together by 
by ourselves at the factory. It has a one-year warranty. There's something you'll note that's unique to this trailer. There is no fill port here. The fill port is actually in the hub of the axle. There's, there's no chance of getting moisture into this wheel end. The axle is vented to give you the venting. So you, you do have an open sight glass for the oil. We do offer a, a semi-fluid grease wheel end package as well that's put together here at the factory. It's very similar to the Hendrickson HXL5, but it is a load king package. It has a two-year warranty. This particular unit has a one-year warranty which is uh, a warranty from Prestige Trailers. We do have uh, a steel wheel option. This particular unit has the Alcoa aluminum wheels, which is very common today. They're a lightweight, strong wheel, and they also look great. We talked about the slider, the pin to release. There's a, there's a rod right over in here between the suspension as well as a pin that you've got to pull out here that locks your suspension into place to wherever you have it set. Right now, this trailer is set in the California legal position with the rear axle slid as far forward as possible. And you can see the different holes that are mounted for your different axle configuration. So it'll go in a closed position. We're at 61 inches from center to center. The full spread will get you a 122 inch spread of the, of the axle as well. So moving to the back of the trailer, we have a impact bumper. Another option with the bumpers, you do have an option of a bolt-on bumper should your customer so choose to have that as an option. The only advantage to a bolt-on bumper, should you bend the end back and into a dock, you can unbolt the bent bumper replace without having to cut or weld. It's really up to a preference of the customer. Dock bumpers are also a standard. It allows you to that little buffer so you don't bend up the back bolster of your trailer. You'll see we have stake pockets incorporated front and back as standard features on the rear and front bolster. In the lighting package, I should point out that we have three on either side. The standard is the two required. We added a third light. In addition to this, there are some other lighting options that this trailer doesn't currently have. We show them on our website. You do have the option of having a rear strobe mounted, two extra lights mounted at the back to indicate, as well as some of the pullout lighting options that you've seen in some of our other videos are all optional on these trailers as well. The three ID lights in the center are standard. The license plate is bolted here. We do have a license plate light as well, so you're always indicating where your license plate is and, and is visible. For safety, there is actually a grip strip put into the back of the bumper. So when you're climbing up onto the trailer, you do have a place that uh, gives you the anti-slip as well. In addition to the, the wheel ends, we talked about the oil-filled semi-fluid grease packages available. This particular unit has the drum brake as the standard on this trailer. We do have the option of having a uh, disc brake package as well. There are some different options available to meet your customers' needs. All of our trailers have a, a specific paint process that we use regardless of whether they're a combo, all steel trailer. All of our trailers are painted with a liquid paint or a polyurethane paint. Uh, before we start painting the trailer, the trailers are steel shot blast to a profile. Then we apply zinc before we apply the primer. So what the zinc really does is it's a sacrificial metal in the process. So if you do get a chip, it does not allow the, the rust to creep below or underneath the, the primer and give you the big raspberry look. So we zinc the entire steel portion of the trailer and then we place the polyurethane primer on top of it and then we apply the top coat. So it's a three-step paint process that we use on all of our trailers. Black is our standard offering. You, you, If you have a specific color you would like us to match, please give us a call and we'll do our best to match that paint color to your truck or, or to your company colors. I'd like to thank you for joining me today on the walk around of this flatbed trailer. Uh, if you have any other questions or would like to have more information, please visit our website, prestigetraders.com. Thank you.